Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. I'm here with Dirty Dan Howdy. and Batjack JW. This week we're going to do a little episode on Pearl Hart, the famous lady bandit. Uh, last week we were up in Globe and it got me thinking we should do something about that area and the famous stagecoach robber that was up there. So This one's going to knock your boots off. <laughs> you're going to love it. You're going to love it, that's right. So, which one of you guys wants to wear the dress and the wig? Well, what? that would be Bat Jack. He's the new guy. He wears a dress in the wig. Okay. What? what? Wardrobe. No. Dress in a wig no, for Bat Jack. No. I want to renegotiate my contract. Oh, shut up. You ain't got no contract. And tell him I'd like to see you in some polka dots. Let's get a drink. Okay. The Old West didn't have many female bandits. Frontier women were a tough lot, but rarely did they venture into outlawry. Growing banks is easy. Get in the way, that's the hard part. Enter Pearl Hart. Originally, she was Pearl Taylor, born in Canada around 1878. Somewhere in there was a bad marriage to an abusive man named Hart, who moved her to the United States. After having a couple of kids and then running away from mean old Mr. Hart numerous times, Pearl eventually found herself in Arizona, scraping by as a cook and sometimes singer. Some historical accounts mention that she ran a brothel. Scandalous. She fell into a financial situation that, like many in the West, forced her to turn to desperate measures. Pearl decided she would rob the Globe de Florence stagecoach. However, she needed help and enlisted a down-and-out miner who went by the alias Joe Boot. And we don't know what Joe's given name was or even how he came up with that alias. Well, here's one idea. Damn it, Paul! Yeah, I want to be part of your outlaw gang. That thing off my foot. Get it off. Get it off. I'm trying, damn it. Well, if you're going to be part of the gang, you got to have an alias like everybody else. Get it off. My name is Joe Wadazinskovich. Yeah, that's exactly why you have to have an alias. There's a what a what a what a who's it long thing ain't going to work. Ah, huh. Boot. You're Joe Boot. On May 30th, 1899, Pearl Hart cut her hair short, dressed like a man, and the two would-be bandits robbed the stage southeast of Globe for a total of $431.20 and a couple of guns. Gallantly, she gave each passenger back a dollar. Wasn't that nice? Come on, Bill. Not being very good at getting away, six days later a posse caught up with them and they were taken to Tucson where Pearl eventually escaped. She got as far as New Mexico before she was recaptured and the outlaw partners were sent to Yuma Territorial Prison. Joe escaped and Pearl was released in 1902. Some reports say that she was impregnated while in prison and was released to save the prison embarrassment. Mm -hmm. Although a lady stagecoach robber was a major celebrity, Pearl was quietly asked to leave the territory. She changed her name, moved to Kansas and opened a cigar store. Ultimately, she got into hot water there with the authorities. After that, her whereabouts are a mystery. Here is one popular theory. Pearl moved back to Arizona and married a man near Globe, living out the rest of her days as Pearl Bywater, this time a housewife. Locals are pretty convinced that Pearl Bywater was Pearl Hart. Why she would choose to live where she robbed the stagecoach is interesting, but then again, we should never underestimate women, or a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Which, by the way, is no relation to a woman, don't get me wrong. One of these days, one of these days, pow, right in the kisser! <clears throat> uh, moving on. Now, I've been to the Bywater house, and the bricks that make up the fireplace have an interesting set of initials put there by the original owners. P.H. Well, that pretty much convinced me that Pearl Hart did, in fact, settle in a homestead in the desert southeast of Globe for the rest of her life. At one competition, Rita celebrated Pearl's legacy by winning a costume award with me as her prison guard accessory. Okay, and now the moment you've all been waiting for. I have my lovely assistant, Rita, here, and we put all the names in the hat, as I'm showing you right now, and she's going to draw one, and then we're going to announce the winner of this lovely little Arizona Ghost Riders bag of goodies. Am I announcing? You're announcing. Awesome. And the winner is... Rooster Cogburn. Rooster Cogburn. All Woo right. Congratulations, Rooster. We're going to have to contact each other, so go ahead and go to the About page and go ahead and message me or put a comment in the field, and we'll get together and talk about where we're sending this stuff to. All right. Congratulations. 
And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And, and I'll see you on down the trail. Bye-bye.